Since I was a kid, I always heard that milk was a very important food, and I consumed a lot of it. I also loved all kinds of dairy products, cheeses, butters, ice creams, yogurts, you name it, I had it all. It took me many years to begin realizing that perhaps that was not such a great idea. But I still wondered, how about calcium? Would I be able to get enough of it from plants? Well, we have a lot of calcium in dairy, but it's never been a problem to have too low calcium in a diet. An orange has 110 milligrams of calcium. All right, so if you're trying to take in 1,500 milligrams a day, that doesn't sound like so much, but when you're only trying to get 500, it sounds pretty good as a percentage of your daily intake. Milk is a healthy food for calves, for baby cows. I mean, milk is for babies, literally. I mean, we're the only species that drinks milk of another species, and then the only species that drinks milk after weaning into adulthood. Why is milk associated with increased prostate cancer risk, for example? Well, I mean, what is milk? Milk is a cocktail of growth hormones to get a little bovine animal who's, you know, uh, who's susceptible to predation out on the African savanna to, you know, put on a few hundred pounds in a few months, right? Because they don't want to get eaten by a lion. And so it's engineered as this growth fluid for rapid growth, which is great if you're a little baby cow, but if you're an adult person, um, those that extra growth hormones is not a good thing. You know, one of the hardest things for people to give up is dairy and they're sometimes really resistant to it. So one of the things I tell people is, well, why don't you look at the evidence and then decide? Because I've always said taking control of your health is not doing what I say instead of what other people say. Taking control of your health is looking at the information and making a conscious choice about what you want to do. Dairy products I describe as liquid meat. They're basically just like red meat, high fat, high cholesterol, no fiber. In fact, they may be worse than meat. The casein that they use to bind the cheese is so full of chemicals. The chemicals are as addictive as heroin. We don't have four stomachs like a baby calf. And unfortunately, it is in everything. They put cow secretions. I know you have other names for it, dairy, butter, ice cream, uh, cheese. But it's really breast milk from a cow. The only reason people think we need all extra calcium is because a few decades ago, scientists they raised the bar on how much calcium we needed. That, in turn, was influenced by the dairy industry. What they're really saying is, we're not drinking enough milk, because that's what the dairy industry wants us to say. When in reality, if you look at the relationship between how much calcium that people consume in different societies, as it relates to, let's say, osteoporosis, the bone disease, the higher the calcium intake, the higher the risk of osteoporosis. No one wants to hear that. That's what the data show.